This is going to be a highlight video of the recent announcement about Monster Factory's second event made by Monster Michael Todd. This is going to be an amazing event and the best thing about it that it is free to watch. Welcome to the video Arm Wrestling fans, I'm Pradeep from Arm Wrestling News. So first things first, when is the event? The date is Saturday, July 9th. Last time in Michael's first event, they were not able to cover the expenses from the pay-per-view sales. This is public information, what they told us on their live stream. So what Michael did this time? He made it absolutely free for everyone. And the last event we gotta say that it was not including any huge names except for Michael Todd, Paul Lynn, Ron Bath. I think there were huge names. <laughs> so anyways, I think you know what I mean. Like it was not as exciting as the other King of the Table or East versus West events. But this time Michael has got John Brzezink, Todd Hutchings himself. This one is at par if not better than any of the other events that we have seen on pay-per-view and this one is going to be free. So another amazing thing. So let's get to the matches. There will be 10 matches, 6 undercards, 4 main event matches. And since it is free to watch, I think we can just call it as 10 matches. I am not sure why do we need to mention that there are 6 undercards. Like just tell everyone that there are 10 matches, free to watch, main event, John Brzezink versus Corey West. Let's talk about other matches first. Roger Cunningham versus Craig Tourier. Roger recently coming off a big win against Brendan Elsesser in a deep hook war and he kind of made it look easy towards the end. So the good thing about Roger was that he made that victory exciting with his trash talks I would say and the good thing about that was that he made sure that people like us knew about that match. Like he was under every live stream. He promoted himself and he got the benefit from it. So Roger Cunningham is going to pull Craig Tullier. Craig Tullier is a veteran in our sport. I think he has been pulling for almost three decades and he's a great, great hook puller. So I think it is going to be an amazing hook battle, which everyone likes to see. Second match, Paul Lynn versus BJ Fokakis. So both of these gentlemen, these great arm wrestlers were on the first event as well. And both of them were winners. So Paul Lynn defeated Ron Bath with a score of 3-1 and BJ Fokakis defeated Don Underwood with a score of 3-1. BJ Fokakis had to rely on top roll and Paul Lynn had to rely on deep hook to defeat Ron Bath. So it is going to be amazing. Is it going to be top roll versus hook? We cannot say that for sure yet. The next match is going to be Monster Michael Todd versus Todd Hutchings. This is the match that lot of people, including Todd Hutchings, I, th I think that Todd Hutchings is the number one guy who wanted to see this match happen. He has been trying to crack that top elite level super heavyweight in United States or North America, I should say, for a long time. And Michael Todd is number one in United States. So this is Todd Hutchings' chance to prove himself that he can be number one in super heavyweights also in his country. Let's see if Todd is able to do that and I've already made a video about this. When this match was kind of announced by Michael Todd in the comment section, I made a video about that. So at that time I was not sure it is going to happen or not, but you can watch that video if you want. I discussed this match in detail, what my thoughts about this are. John Brzezink versus Corey West. Another match about 7-8 months ago, I said with a lot of confidence in my video that this match is going to happen in the future. And the reason was that John Brzezink said that when he gripped up against Corey West, he felt kind of comfortable. He thought that he can do something against Corey West in a super match. And he would like to have that super match. And when the GOAT says that he wants a super match or he would like to have a super match, there is nobody stopping him from getting that super match. So this match was bound to happen and it is going to happen on July 9th. So how do I see this match going? I was trying to find my own video but I couldn't find when I made a video about John Brzezink versus Corey West. So John, when he first gripped up against Corey West, maybe he wasn't even thinking about making a comeback because that was more than one year ago when they gripped up. And even then, John was able to stop Corey in a hook. Maybe John is not going to top roll Corey, maybe it is going to a hook war, but nobody really knows. That time John was not able to top roll Corey, but it was more than one year ago as I said. And John was not even training at that time. Since then, John has been a continuous prize. So can he top roll Corey West right now? Maybe he can, the chances are definitely going to be better, but he can for sure hang with Corey West even in a hook. I think we can say that for sure. Definitely going to be an exciting match. I think it will be won on endurance and maybe if Corey West is tired, John can top roll him also towards the end. But cannot say for sure who is going to win this match. Corey also has a great shot. 
Mrs. Monster also wanted to compete in that match, but it is going to be, or maybe Michael wanted her to compete in that match, in that card. But it is going to be too much for her because she is going to do a lot of organizing. As you can see that she is the one who edited this video. She is the one who does most of the work for the channel and she is going to have her hands full on that day. So she will not be competing. And Carl Stanley versus Austin Jaggers. This is another match that Michael Todd said will be as an undercard. And July 9th is the date. Don Underwood. My comment section got flooded with Don Underwood comments when, when I asked who do you want to see as the commentator for the King of the Table events. And Don Underwood does a great job as a commentator. Like he is a gem that we were not aware of. He is such a great commentator. I would advise you to watch the Monster Factory first event to see how good of a commentator Don Underwood is. Headsets. There will be headsets for commentators this time. This is great thing about Michael Todd. Like, we may have had some differences, but he is always willing to accept some suggestions or advices. Like a lot of people su suggested him, advised him to use headsets or get closer to the microphone. They have implemented it. Next time there will be headphones for the commentators. VIP pass, $500 pass to personally visit and watch the event at the Monster Factory. Nine spots are available from what Michael told us and the priority is going to be given to the members of the channel who are the members of the channel. So as this event is going to be free, some of you might think that why should we still subscribe to Michael's channel as a member. There are going to be other perks as Michael will announce in the future and he announced that some of them in this video as well. Like after pulling will be for members only. Things like that. So Michael is expecting to get around 10 million views combined which is definitely not a crazy number to think of. I think they can definitely achieve that because John Brzezink is there, Todd Hutchings is there, Michael himself is there and they are going to stream on multiple platforms including Facebook. I would not be surprised if one video is able to get 10 million views on Facebook. Facebook is crazy with the number of views the videos can get. So this is easily going to be the most watched live stream in arm wrestling by far. Nothing is going to be close. And I'm talking about only about YouTube numbers, not combined numbers. Why? Because it is free for everyone to watch. And since it is going to be a live stream, everyone needs to subscribe, press the bell icon. So they will be getting a lot of subscribers and bell icons in the procedure and I would not be surprised if on YouTube there are 15,000 people watching it live at a time maybe even 20,000 so definitely going to be the most live and Michael is someone who knows about sponsorships more than any arm wrestler alive like he rocks those sponsorships really well in his videos in the first event the commercial integration in the video was also really great so this time I think Michael has cracked the code he may be selling those sponsorship spots to the sponsors and I think this is the way to go. I discussed it with Devon Laird. Like what is better for arm wrestling? Us as fans paying money via pay-per-views or the sponsors putting in the money. I think the balance is, the good thing is a balance between these two. But if you are able to do that from sponsors money only, it is going to be really good so that everyone gets to watch the event for free live. That is just an amazing thing. And one more thing I wanted to add is that I think Michael is not pulling... John Brzezink straight away in this event because he may be wanting to save this event for a bigger pay-per-view match like where both of these athletes can get paid really well. I may be wrong though. This is my assumption. And actually I think I'm not wrong. Michael did mention it in one of his live streams that if that match is to happen, it has to happen on a bigger stage where both of them get paid really well. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Definitely support this event. Bye-bye.